During her time with the Trump administration, Kelly Kraft worked as ambassador to Canada and ambassador to the United Nations. So what's next for the Kentucky native? Do her plans include making a move into the governor's mansion? I sat down for an interview with the former ambassador in this LEX 18 exclusive. So I grew up you know, with lots of animals, with a lot of visitors, with farmers coming you know, in and out. So no one was ever a stranger. That's back when you didn't lock your doors. Four years as an ambassador, first to Canada, then to the UN, Kelly Kraft has traveled the world several times over, but she always ends up back people. home, we back to like nature, rulers, back to her roots. If there was someone who really taught me the ethics of hard work, it was my dad, and that was by example. A lot of people ask me, do you think it was uh, deterrence growing up in a small town? And I actually think it's the opposite, that you're nurtured to believe in yourself, you're given a lot of self-esteem, and the other thing is that people hold you accountable. Good preparation for working for maybe the toughest boss out there, President Donald Trump. Tough. He's very tough. He is like he is very demanding because he demands a lot of himself. Appointed ambassador to Canada in 2017, Kraft was put in charge of one of the president's top campaign promises to get rid of NAFTA and negotiate a new trade deal with Mexico and Canada, the USMCA. I went there with a mission, and that was to negotiate the best possible deal we could for the United States. Are you pleased with the agreement that was negotiated and signed? Absolutely. But Far more important now that we've gone through COVID, this pandemic, it is a must have. Then Kraft became the U.S. representative to the world, ambassador to the United Nations. Not bad for a Kentucky girl who grew up on a farm in Glasgow. From the highest level of world politics, U.S. foreign policy, global crises, Kraft has turned her focus now to the place and the people she knows best. I think when you're on that mountaintop, it gives you a phenomenal view. And that view, you tend to focus on what really matters. And it was time to come home. The issue before her now, what Kentucky Republicans and probably a lot of Democrats want to know, will she run for governor? Yes, I am leaning heavily toward running for governor. I have not made that decision because I want to make a decision on what is going to help the most people in Kentucky. Where am I best suited to make the biggest difference? With a resume that includes working for the president, negotiating multi-country trade agreements, working with the highest level of world diplomats, some would describe Kraft as extremely qualified. Does she? I'm the first to say there is a lot for me to learn. And I think when you, when you say that you know everything is when, is when you don't. You know, the one thing, Nancy, I will not speak negative about Andy Bashir. There's too many other issues that you gotta focus on. It's that, that's what you want to win on are your issues. I asked Kraft to grade Andy Bashir on his handling of the pandemic. I can't judge Governor Bashir and, and his decision making. In the beginning, I thought he, he, he did a fine job because it was all so very new to all of us. I think we're going to have a lot of, of mental health issues with our children. We need to really focus on that. I think we've also seen the importance of the school board, and we need to really be focused on who we elect to the school board, who our leadership is. We have an economy on fire. An economy on fire. We have an economy that is on fire. Our economy is on fire. Governor Bashir likes to say our economy is on fire. Does Kraft see it that way? I think it depends on, on his definition of on fire. You know, what I, what I would like to see is more opportunities that the state of Kentucky can attract industry. And we have, you know, we have to figure out how to get our people back to work. Kentucky has elected only one woman to the state's highest office, Martha Lane Collins, and that was 38 years ago. What's it going to take for Kentucky to take that step? You know, I think, I don't, I don't blame it on Kentucky. I think it just needs to be the right person at the right time. With such a life-changing decision ahead, what would finally convince Kraft to step into the governor's race? Obviously, my husband, you know, his, uh, our conversations, that, that is... That's probably the second most important. The most important is my prayer life and just feeling that inner peace 
the, you know, Kelly, you're making the right decision.